Okay, here we've added a Raspberry Pi, and a little bit more complicated just because of the hardware I have right now. We're looking at a regular Rev B Pi, uh, a Proto Shield from Adafruit, which is really handy, and I'm going to finish building the circuit on here when I'm done testing it. And here's a CAN SPI interface board from Microelectronica. Um, it's designed for a lot of different systems, so you can choose which pins to use and all that, but it's effectively the same as the Arduino Shield in that it uses the microchip 2515 controller. Um, given that this is a 5 volt board and the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi is 3.3 volts, I had to do a voltage divider on the interrupt and master in slave out pins, basically the only two pins that go back from this board to the Raspberry Pi. The other pins come from the board to the controller here and so you don't need that. Um, so that's set up now and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to the CAN bus. My white wire here is the high. Okay. So now it's a member of the CAN network, should everything be wired correctly. Let's double check the jumpers here. All right. So here I've got two shells open up on the Raspberry Pi here. And on this one, let's actually dump any CAN data that we can see. And again, you can see, just like we saw in the Arduino, here's the one bus data that's being broadcast, and you can see the number incrementing each time from that one Arduino. If we go over here and we actually send some data, you'll see it show up there as well, if I do it a couple more times. So that's it. Um, it is a custom kernel build you have to do to get the right uh, CAN controller and all that, and there are some current issues people are working on on SBI interfacing with Raspberry Pi being too slow, but it basically works really well. Um, also for a cleaner setup, um, the same people, SK Pang, that designed this CAN bus board uh, make another one for the Raspberry Pi, and I have that coming, so that'll be a little bit cleaner setup. But it's not too hard to take other solutions like this, or even the Arduino board, because I've done that, and make it work with the Pi, if you have to. Um, the nice thing about using the Pi for this is that my target application is actually to do some hacking in the car. And you can see I have a Wi-Fi dongle here. So I can throw this on the car and do diagnostics remotely through a terminal shell rather than having to have the laptop connected directly to the Arduinos. Stay tuned for that.